When someone clicks on your ad and goes through to your website, they're showing an interest in what you have to offer. But don't you want to know what happened after they got to your site? Conversion tracking is a free AdWords tool that lets you see if your ads are leading customers to take an action that's valuable to you, such as making an online purchase, filling in an online form, or signing up for your service. So let's say you're a personal trainer who wants people who see your ad to sign up for a workout session on your website. If you set up conversion tracking in AdWords, you'll be able to see which ads led customers to sign up for that session. This is information that will show you how much value AdWords is bringing to your business. Setting up conversion tracking is easier than you might think. All you need is an AdWords account, a website, and the ability to edit code on that website or someone to do it for you. Ready to follow along with the steps? Click the Try It Now button to get started in your account. First, sign into your AdWords account and click the Tools tab at the top. Select Conversions from the drop-down menu. Click the New Conversion button. Here you'll see we have a few different types of conversions you can track. Since we're advertising personal training services booked on a website, I'm going to select Website. In the Name field, enter a name of the conversion you'd like to track. Let's call it Training Session Booking. This name will help you recognize the action later when it shows up in your reports. Next, you can enter a monetary value to indicate how much the conversions you're tracking are worth to you. You can set all conversions to have the same value or set different values for each conversion if, for example, you're tracking purchases of products with different prices. If you choose this option, you'll need to follow a different set of instructions. Click here to learn more. You can also opt not to assign a value to your conversions at all. In this example, we're tracking the action of a customer booking a personal training session online. This is worth $50 to me, so I'm going to select the first option, enter $50 as the value, and click Done. The Count section gives you the flexibility to count conversions in a way that makes sense for your business. Select Every if you want to count every conversion that happens after an ad click. This is a good choice if you'd like to track and improve your sales. We'll pick this option since we want to count all training sessions a customer might book after clicking the ad. Select one to count only one conversion per ad click. This is a good choice if you're tracking leads, like a newsletter sign up on your website, where multiple signups from the same person won't add value to your business. When you've made your choice, click done. You also have the option to adjust the conversion windows. Conversion windows let you specify how long you want to track conversions after an ad click takes place. In our example, customers who saw our ad could return to our site much later to book their training sessions. So we'll want to choose a long conversion window to make sure we count those actions as conversions. View through conversion windows let you specify how long you want to track conversions after an impression of your image or rich media display network ad. By default, this is set to a 30-day window. When you're ready, click Done. Next, click Category and choose the one that best applies to the conversion type you're tracking. This will help organize your conversion reports, and you can always change it later. For this example, we're going to choose Purchase Sale, and then click Done. Finally, we have a more advanced option that allows you to choose whether or not to include conversions for this conversion action in your Conversions column. This setting is selected by default, but you can opt out here if you'd like. When you reviewed each of these areas, click Save and Continue. Once you've reviewed your settings, it's time to get your conversion tracking code, called a tag, which you'll need to place on your website. In the Install Your Tag section, you'll pick one of two options. Choose Save Instructions and Tag if you'll be installing the conversion tracking tag on your website yourself. A text file will download to your computer with your tag which you'll need to copy and add to the HTML of the page on your website that your customers reach after they've completed a conversion, such as the Thank You For Your Order page, for example. You'll add the conversion tracking tab between the body tags on this page. If someone else will be installing the tag on your site, like your webmaster, select the option Email Instructions and Tag. 
Just fill out the email form that pops up and click Send Email. The tag will be sent to the person you've chosen, usually the person who edits your website's HTML code. When you're ready, click Done. Once you've added the tag to the page, you can check to make sure that everything is working by loading the confirmation page on your site. For example, make a test booking. Now, go to the conversions page in your AdWords account. Your conversion actions tracking status should change from unverified to no recent conversions. Note that it may take up to 24 hours for the status to change. You'll start seeing conversions in your account within a day after people click your ads and complete conversions, and the status will change to recording conversions. Congratulations, you're now measuring your campaign success. You can now see how ads drive conversions by the statistics table in your campaigns tab by adding new columns. From the campaigns page, click columns, then modify columns, and choose conversions from the list of categories. Click the arrow button next to any conversion statistics you want to add to your report, then click apply. And that's it. Ready to start tracking your website conversions? Click this link to begin. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll get all the latest AdWords tips videos. And if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments section. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.